So collaboration between top scientists and expert doctors who look after sick patients every day is not always possible in the hospital, except at St. Mike's. So Dr. Beck is an expert scientist, a research scientist, and a world-renowned uh, researcher in respiratory physiology. I am a baby doctor. I look after the sickest babies in the hospital, the sickest babies in this country. I'm the medical director of the neonatal intensive care unit in this hospital. I'm also the medical director of the simulation center downstairs, where innovation, testing, education happens every single day. So this is my problem. This is also all of our problems. It may surprise many of you that up to 10% of babies are admitted to the intensive care unit to get management, 10% uh, of all babies. And the biggest problem that I face every day is breathing problems. So it's lung disease, premature lung development, lung infection, water in the lungs. And to treat this, we have to attach wires and hoses and masks and tubes and tapes to their faces. This is a problem. It separates the baby from the family. It separates babies from their mothers at the most critical period of their life where they need to bond, where they need to breastfeed. So you imagine all this hardware that we're applying, and you can see here it takes up almost all of the space on this baby's face. It separates the baby and prevents them from doing what they need to be doing. And this is not acceptable. What we need to do is we need to find a solution. We need to find ways to help ba babies breathe better. We need to do better. This is the damage that can be caused. The injury, the scarring can be disfiguring. It can be permanent. So as I said again, this is not acceptable. We need new solutions. We need to find a better way. So this is our solution. Uh, let me introduce you to the life vest. Um, rather than having tubes in the baby's nose or in the airway, we put an inflatable vest around the chest and we seal it at the level of the armpits and the belly button. We're actually able to um, deliver, uh, by applying negative pressure inside the vest, we're actually gently pulling out the chest of the baby that allows air to be drawn into the lungs. And what's the unique part about this technology is that we actually can pick up the baby's breathing signals by tiny sensors placed on their feeding tubes. And by this, we can actually synchronize the life vest to breathe with the baby in a much more comfortable and natural way. So the concept is there. We just need your help to bring this to life. Over the next two years, um, we're going to be doing a 3D design of, um, based on recreations from CT scans and from standardized measurements. And then we're going to go and use a 3D printer to generate the prototype. And then we will actually go down to the simulation center and test it in a baby mannequin. In year two, we will get Health Canada approval. And then we're planning to go live in the NICU at St. Mike's. So the Life Vest is a unique device. Um, it provides uh, synchronous support to the baby, um, but most importantly, the major advantage is it liberates the nose, allowing the babies to bond with their um, mother and father. Um, I think the most important part is that we believe that this will actually allow babies to do what's best for their thriving, which is breathing, feeding, and growing.